Hi everybody, it is Nat from Studio Hacks here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quantize in Ableton Live 10. This is going to be quite a short video, but I'll just give you all the basics that you need to get going. Now, quantization is when you have performed in some MIDI data using an external controller, such as a MIDI keyboard or a drum pad, and you want to either fix the timing or the pitch of those MIDI notes. So what I've done here is I've used the Grand Piano plugin that comes with the standard and the suite version of Ableton Live 10. And I've performed a simple uh, little performance. I'll quickly show you what that sounds like. So you can hear that some of those notes are on time and I've got the metronome on so you can hear the beat but some of those notes are not in time. So I need to open up the MIDI editor. I can do that by either double clicking on this clip here. The other way I can do it is down on the very bottom right hand corner, there's a little arrow, I guess, or a little pointer. And you can click that to open and close the MIDI note editor. This is also uh, known as a piano roll. And then you can see that we have all the notes here. Now, a really simple way to lock them onto your current grid is to just select all the notes by dragging a box around them or going Command A uh, on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it will be, I think, Control A for select all. And then if we right click, we can select quantize. The shortcut is Command U on a Mac or Control U on a PC. And you'll see that it's just snapped those to the nearest grid line. So that's really locked it in to that beat and uh, it's fixed the timing of those notes. But there are plenty of extra features that we can do with the quantization. So I've just gone back and hit uh, Control Z to undo that. Um, so there is a lot of different things we can do here. First of all, you want to really select the grid uh, here when you right click in an empty space. We can have an adaptive grid or we can have a fixed grid. Currently, my grid is set to 16th notes, but I can have a narrow or wide adaptive grid. The narrow and the narrowest mean that it gets really fine. And the adaptive grid, it'll change the grid lines as I zoom in and out and I hover over this and click and hold up and down to zoom in and out in this view. Um, I tend to not use the adaptive grid for the quantization. I tend to select the fixed grid. And then if I select eighth notes, let's see what that does. It'll be a higher, a, sorry, a lower resolution. So I'm going to go command U and then it's going to snap it to eighth notes. Let's listen to that. So you can see it's really changed that performance because I was actually playing in 16th notes and it's locked them all to eighth notes. So I'm just going to undo that. What I want to do is just simply fix that. And there is another way to do this. If I select all those notes and right click, I do have a secondary quantize menu called the quantize settings. And this is what I tend to use a lot more because we can adjust the start or the end of the note or both so if I choose 16th notes, it'll actually make the note as long as a 16th note on the start and the finish. If I deselect end, it's only going to quantize the front end of the note. Now I can also quantize to the current grid or I can select my own here. Eighth notes, um, this is eight notes triplets, um, eighth note, we're going to 16th notes, 32 notes. And then we can also select an amount here, which is kind of handy. So if you want to keep a little bit of the human feel, a little bit of your performance, you can just quantize 50% or 80%. And that will not snap it 100% of the grid. It will sort of randomize the notes a little bit. So you'll keep some of your performance. Let's just try and fix this up really, really hard to the front end of those notes. So the 16th, I'm going to select 16th and select OK. And you'll notice that the first two bars here look fine, but we've got some problems with the second two bars. And that's because a note was so far out, it snapped it to the next 16th note. So I'm going to have to go in and do some manual quantization. That's quite easy. I'm going to zoom in 
by hovering over this bar, clicking and holding and dragging down. And then I'm simply going to just do a bit of manual quantization, just cleaning these notes up a little bit here. So you can see here that that one probably needed to be a bit closer to there. I might make my grid 16th notes because that's what I'm quantizing to. And then these notes will snap nice and hard. So you can see here for each of these, I really just want this pattern here where it doesn't really matter the length so much, but I'm just going to make it a bit easy for the visuals. So these notes snap to these grid lines. And then I'm going to just fix this performance up. I can even select a bunch of notes and it will do them all at the same time. This is looking a lot better. Let's see whether my performance is now locked into the grid. There's a suspicious note there. I'm just going to get rid of that by selecting it and hitting delete. That's great. So I've fixed up the quantization with the timing, but uh, quantizing, well, in the MIDI view, it's not really quantizing, but I can change the pitch as well if I like. So I can just grab all of these notes and change the key that I'm in by dragging them up a semitone. That's going to change the entire performance key. Or I can just change uh, a single note from that performance every time it happens by selecting this whole row of notes and dragging it up to a different note. You can see that really changes the feel of that performance, which is fantastic. The other thing we can do in this view, you can see down the bottom there, we've got these little red lines. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger by dragging this bit up here. These are the note velocities. So this is, if I've hit one note really, really loudly and it sounds funny, and you can kind of see there that this one is the loudest note, I can just pull the velocity back a bit and fix these up. Now I can change the velocity of all the notes at once by selecting them all and, and just dragging up. You see all the velocities so I can make them really quiet or I can make them really loud. I can even them out so they're all the same velocity. So that's handy there. You can change individual note velocities or you can change all the velocities at once. So you can see that you can uh, quantize an entire group of notes just by selecting them. Um, you can quantize all the notes by hitting Command A and you can either use the shortcut Command U or Control U on a PC or you can right click and you can use this quantize settings. So that's some basic quantizing of MIDI data in Ableton Live 10. If you have found this video's content valuable, make sure you support the channel by subscribing and leaving a comment if anything in this video was confusing to you and I'll see if I can find the time I usually can to get back to you and help you with that. And I'll see you in the next video.